So it's 2023, and we're almost a whole month into this year, which is kind of crazy to say, but still very much bare as far as news for Marvel's Spider-Man 2. Now, of course, right as the year was ending, it was a very exciting time to be a Marvel Spider-Man 2 fan because we got a lot of updates. The studio went ahead and committed to the fall 2023 release schedule, which, by the way, has now been also confirmed on the PlayStation Store. So if you actually check the PlayStation shop, it will specifically quote that as the release date, which is obviously a major, major W. But beyond that, we also got a bunch of smaller interviews with certain actors, voice actors, etc., hinting to the idea that the game is ramping up and that they are getting closer and closer to release. Then, as 2023 began, we didn't really get anything so far. It's been kind of quiet for the most part. However, there is some exciting developments, some that a lot of people are kind of bummed out about, and I am very curious to hear your opinions and thoughts as well. So first and foremost, let's talk about the thing that people are upset about. If you don't know, Hasbro is the current licensor that works with Marvel for most of their toy licenses, and they manufacture a series called Marvel Legends, which is kind of their premier lineup of action figures. They've been partners for years now, and I believe it is the most popular action figure line on store shelves now as part of that line they went ahead and announced the marvel spider-man 2 costume and boy oh boy people were very very mad or at least some people were a few people were very receptive to the suit saying hey it looks pretty cool it's nice to see the marvel spider-man 2 costume in action poses and we get to see a much more detailed set of shots for the suit that we haven't really seen from the one trailer that we have seen so far so that was definitely a very welcome sight now, the problem that a lot of people pointed out was actually with the colors of the costume. And this is something that has been controversial for Marvel Spider-Man before, where a lot of people have said that they don't really like the fact or the hue of red that is being used for Spider-Man. A lot of people have said before that it actually looks orange and it looks a little bit incorrect for Spidey. And boy, oh boy, is that the case for this one as well. If this is based on the actual in-game model, which I did go on ahead and pull up as high resolution images as I could find of the suit so far. And I got to be honest, the red does seem to be correct on this action figure. Now, the other problem is also with the blue. A lot of people are saying it looks way too desaturated. Why does it look so dull? But then if you look at the actual shots from the game trailer, it kind of looks like that as well. So... I almost feel like this really is the correct color scheme, and it's just that we benefited from seeing the suit in the shade within the trailer itself. And so now the question is to you, do you think that this is a good color scheme for Spidey, or do you feel like this is a little too toned down and feels a little too diluted and should have been more saturated than what we see here? In fact, I went ahead and actually turned up the saturation on one of the action figure shots just to kind of give you an idea of what that might look like. So you can see on the left hand side, that's the before shot or what it's supposedly going to look like in the game. And on the right side is my edited image. And I'm curious to hear your opinions and thoughts down in the comment section below on that particular adjustment. Do you dislike the suit more now that we have this extra action figure to go off? And then the other detail is, of course, where is the freaking trailer? And a lot of people have been saying, hey, we're probably going to see a trailer next month because supposedly at the end of January, we're getting an Xbox presentation. And then PlayStation is actually rumored to be having their own state of play in February. And I think a lot of people are saying, well, that's where we're going to see it. I don't believe that will be the case because I believe that this next showcase is probably going to be quite heavily focused on Forspoken and most likely going to be focused on PSVR 2. And I think once we're out of the way with those releases, I think that's when Spider-Man takes center stage. So I don't actually expect to see an update or at least a massive update for Marvel Spider-Man 2 until earliest March, maybe even April after the release of PSVR 2. So I guess this really is a case of good news and bad news and kind of up to you to decide whether or not you like the new renditions of the suit. With the first nice look that we have had with the Marvel Legends lineup, let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. Thank you so very much for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, guys, for all future updates. If there's anything else that comes out for this game, you know that I got gotcha. you. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I'll catch you on the next one. Bye, guys.